hope everybody's doing good. Well, whoever's showing up, I hope you're doing good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me see if I can get the link for the YouTube going. Um, let's see what's up with that. Nope. I want to go to videos. Let's see where the live is. Go to live. And... Hmm. Let's get out of this page. Oh, and we're there. Nobody's here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry. I'm just trying to get myself situated, trying to get the link so I could push out the, um, the YouTube link on the social medias. Um, but I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. It's just not good. Um, home videos. Let's go. Cancel. Usually I'm just able to get it, but I'm not getting anything. What's up, Kuya man? How you doing, brother? trying to get myself situated over here but um yeah usually i'm able to find let's see where it's playing on youtube there it is i found the link control copy Hey, what's going on, Perry Comics? What's going on, C Collects? Man, uh, I apologize for the delay, man. I hadn't put the, I was trying to push the, <clears throat> my link on Twitter, but uh, I was, I don't know. I'm out of practice, I guess. I haven't streamed in a week. So, there we go. <laughs> yeah, cool. Yeah, I heard about that, brother. I heard your tablet died, but I heard you, I seen you've been doing some, um, Oh, Trusty says he's backstage. Sorry, buddy. I'm. I was trying to get everything situated, and wow, we got a whole bunch of people, and we got everybody here. <laughs> there you go. Now everybody. Uh, we got a guapo. We got Trusty Psychic. Y'all about to get treated to some good artwork, ladies and gentlemen. What's going on? I'm taking my uh, face. Yeah. So I. I was. I guess I haven't streamed in a while. Uh oh, what happened with El Guapo? I don't know. Well, hey, my mistake is back. my mistake was I, I saw that that in our our private chat the big thing that was posted, and so I didn't scroll up. I figured you hadn't sent the link yet. Yeah, I sent it, but you know that whole situation. Oh my goodness! Yeah. <sighs> Lord have mercy. <laughs> <laughs> like it, it just it is just not improving. Nope. But, you know, and that's part of, you know, whenever you do a team uh, or, or you do an organization or you get a new squad or whatever, you know, you, there, there's phases to it, right? And, and um, you know, that the, the idea is new and everything is going perfect and, that, you know, and then you hit that people get tired of each other face, you know, kind of get of each other's nerves and, you know, bicker and then right towards the end, right? They kind of gel again, and then the mission gets accomplished. I don't know how long this mission is going to be, mm -hmm. but it looks like they're at that stage where they just can't stand each other anymore. I was gonna say, I was afraid of getting to the stage where they're gonna kill Piggy. You know, but you know, and that's part of uh, that's part of leadership. You know, you, you gotta learn how to discern those stages and navigate the waters and problem is there's no uh there's no real unification you know no yeah hey, uh, help me share my screen i don't know what's going on no you don't do anything brother I, boom there you go <laughs> oh wow <laughs> i don't want to hog everything i could just that, order it's okay I'll, 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 I'll rotate it man i'll rotate it in and out <laughs> <laughs> I'll rotate it in and out, brother. He Don't controls the vertical. He controls the horizontal. 
Yeah, no, but what happens is he's got his camera and his screen. And when he's and when that situation happens and you put the screen, right? It what you know that the screen with the drawing usually will take um the larger space automatically. But it's it's all good, man. Over here, we don't have none of that drama. I'm not, you know, we're not gonna be fighting about stuff. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know what's going on. To be honest, I took a week. I took a week off, like from everything. I didn't draw. I didn't go on YouTube. I didn't go on D Live. I didn't do anything. I, I kind of had a one week. Try to stay away from everything sabbatical. And next week will be the same, because I'll be out of town. You know, this is Thanksgiving, but. So I said, you know, let me let me stream tonight. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, man, boy, oh boy, oh boy. First, it started out rough, which is okay. That's on me, you know. But um, let's talk about some good stuff, man. Let's talk about some good stuff. So Red Ten, right? Volumes one and volume two are on Kickstarter, you know. And and your boy El Guapo. He he that's that's uh, that's something that he participated in. Yeah, that's right. So you wanna you wanna tell the you know, wanna talk a little bit about it? Yeah, yeah I burned out of yeah. talking about it or <laughs> yeah, so you know, we're um we uh about ten years ago began the process uh, with Comic Strive of of producing a, a ten issue maxi series. Remember when they used to do those 10, 12 issue maxi series mm -hmm. uh, yeah. and we chose the number 10 issues because of the red 10 so to tell that story and they're just trying to keep everything synergized behind that 10 and uh you know a lot of people said that you guys really gonna do you guys like an independent publisher it's like the first thing you've ever done you know are you are you seriously think you're gonna make it a lot of people were telling us no you're never you're never gonna make it but by the same token, they also liked the book. You know, they liked the concept. They they enjoyed the story and everything. And as as much as they, you know, were kind of like poo-pooing it, they were also like, well, when's the next book coming out? You know what I'm saying? Almost like, right. you know, like dissing you, but at the same time throwing you roses, you know? So, um, you know, it was a grind. There was a lot of stops and starts. There was, you know, I got delayed finishing work because I had a lot of um, family things going on. I had a daughter that passed away during that time that I was doing the work. So, you know, that was a rough year where, you know, I couldn't even uh, focus on, on anything, you know. Um, and, you know, one of the scenes that in the book that I was working on revolved, you know, these children getting hurt. So obviously I couldn't even draw that page. It was such a struggle you know um but eventually you know I, I got the the ball rolling again and you know then you know tyler the the writer and co-creator on that you know he ran into some situations especially as we got towards the end of the book he uh you know he just wanted to make sure in the last three issues that he that that we closed it out well you know and tie tying together all the the loose ends and everything and so you know i remember when we got done with the first five issues you know kickstarter had just kind of started out as a crowdfunding thing and we said well let's let's kickstart this thing and see you know if we can get some money to at least publish the first five issues in a trade and uh you know we we did that i think we managed to raise like thirteen thousand dollars or something like that which was pretty great for you know your first time doing something like that. And, you know, there's a lot of buzz and everything. We went to New York Comic Con um, and uh, people were just like, just eating it up. We got a lot of great reviews from a lot of the comic reviewers in New York area and stuff like that. And um, then, you know, we got done with the, with the series and, you know, people, uh, we're, we're like, uh, well, when's, when you're going to collect the next volume, you know? So about two, th I think it's like three years now since we finished the very last issue. And, you know, here we, we decided to, uh, well, let's, let's put this thing out. Let's see what we can do. Um, 
Tyler in that span of time uh, has run several Kickstarter campaigns because Comic Stripe, you know, we jump started from the Red 10 and we were able to um, use that as a springboard to launch, you know, titles like, you know, Emily is Gone with John Lees and, and <coughs> Ian Laurie and then um, Scam uh, is another book that we put out and Wailing Blade and the Oxymoron um, uh, series, uh, mini series that we put out and called Lovely as a Lie. And so we, you know, Comic Stripe has a, has a good name for putting out good quality stuff and especially Kickstarters. So um, now, you know, forward here, we decide we're going to put this out and we said, well, it's going to be a 10 day campaign. Uh, and the reason we chose 10 days is because, you know, all the work is already done. We, you know, there's nothing else to do. Everything's colored. You know, all the art is done. Everything's lettered. Everything's colored. Everything's already packaged and ready to be um, um, put into the trade. And um, so we collected everything into that second volume, added some other bonus features. So, and then there's a, a, a never before seen four page ending uh, epilogue on that. Um, so that'll be exclusive to the uh, the second volume, and it's pretty amazing, you know. Uh, we we had a five thousand dollar initial goal, and we raised that in like twelve hours, you know, uh, which is pretty amazing. And uh, I think now we're let's see where we're at right now. I think we're close to thirteen thousand, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and while you're checking on that, <clears throat> even though it says Red 10 coming soon to Kickstarter, the Red 10 campaign is already open, but that link should get you to the Kickstarter link if you're interested. And uh, speaking of which, Scam, so Comics Tribe, they did a uh, a giveaway in, uh, you know, as a pre-launch to Red 10 or whatever you want to call it, like a little uh, publicity thing. And they had a winner, but it wasn't me. Or me. <laughs> but they did send me a digital copy of Scam, now that you're talking about Scam. Yeah. So what they did in that email is like, hey, you know, if you want to continue to receive some free digitals, you know, you can take the blue pill or the red pill. I think this is the blue pill or the red pill, whatever. I just chose to continue to get some of the digital stuff because it's, it's some good stuff, man. The artwork is pretty good on Scam so far. But, you know, um, I've read volume one of Red 10, and I've known, and some other people have read some of the Red 10 stuff, and I'm telling you right now, um, it's amazing. I, you know, I, that's not my genre, but I enjoyed it. So if, if you can enjoy something that's not within your wheelhouse, then that's that's pretty, that's saying something, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah so uh, uh, right now we're close to 13,000. We got five more, four more days left, and uh, then, you know, that'll be it forever. So, you know, anyone watching the stream tonight, if you haven't checked that out, you know, check it out. Uh, it's, we, there's a lot of different tiers that are available. There's a digital tier, there's a, a soft cover tier, um, and also a, uh, uh, a hard cover tier that you can uh, jump in on. Um, there's also a, uh, we're, what we're doing is, uh, which is pretty neat, we're reprinting the first issue and offering it as a, a foil uh, stamping with blood splatter on it, uh, which kind of looks pretty cool. And, it, and it's actually the uh, got my some art that I that I did of a, a team shot um, on the cover, uh, reprinting that first issue. So uh, that would be a nice collector's item. So, you know, check it out. There's a lot of uh, uh, tiers in there, and they're affordable. Uh, and, uh, you know, trust me when I tell you, I'm not just saying this because, you know, it's my book or anything, but, you know, it really is a good story. I mean, the way that, 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 that you know, Tyler put that together and, you know, uh, he did a good job. Uh, if you're a fan of, the, of Watchmen, if you're a fan of, uh, you know, murder mysteries, superhero murder mysteries and these sort of things. Um, it's basically how we would kill off this Justice League if DC Comics were crazy enough to let us in. 
and you know and there's a lot of twists and turns in it uh it's like a crisis and infinite it's like um what was that big thing where they were killing uh heroes um, identity crisis yeah then it's got some some of that flavor so you know if if you if you dug that you'll definitely dig this um like i said i always look forward to the scripts i had a lot of fun with that you know so it was funny because you know tyler and i were kind of like he would look forward to the art i would look forward to the story so it was nice to kind of collaborate that way um and it was my the first team book i ever did uh and i don't know probably the only one i'll ever do it's a lot of work you know <laughs> um, uh you don't realize you know when you say something well i've always wanted to draw a team book you know uh and which was one of the things when he was he approached me at a convention he saw that you know my table and some of the books that i had worked on he said hey you'd be interested in doing a story i got some you know scripts here let me send you some of the things that i have and uh i took a look at it and i was immediately drawn to the red tent and uh which was probably a, a great decision on, on my part because it's really you know given me a lot of opportunities over the years to, to do things but um yeah so like i said you know it's it, this is this is the last time it's going to be offered so um i've never met a person that that said that they hated it you know pretty much every person is like wow i can't you know i love it can't wait for the next issue to come out and you know um i'll just give one last anecdote i was we were at boston comic con we had out i think we had like the first four issues out and so this young lady comes by and uh, she's like, oh, what's this? So kind of explain it to her. She's like, well, I like Agatha Christie because it was like loosely based on Agatha Christie's 10 Little Indians. She said, well, I'll pick up the first book. So she goes and about 40 minutes later, she comes back. Do you have the second issue? I said, sure. Yeah, I, I read it on my way as I was walking over to another section. I loved it so much. I came back and picked it up. So she brought the second issue. About a half hour later, she comes back. All right, I'll, I'll grab issue three and four. And... Uh, she had read them all there at the at the convention and just loved it, you know. And then she sent people over. Oh, yeah. nice! It's pretty awesome. So, you know, it's 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 that kind of it was that kind of story. Um, and uh, you know, when you read it, what's nice about it, it's like it it harkens to you know the day where you know they they really he wrote a good story, and I've heard some people that. Are right leaning saying, well, this is a, a right leaning, you know, book. And then other people have read it and said, well, this this book kind of leans left, you know. Um, which I look at that and I said, well, then this is the perfect book because it's got a little bit of something for everybody. Which, you know, I try to strive for that in my stories, you know, um, the things that I work on, uh, and uh, I think that that's that's pretty important. You know, to be able to to have working on something that is um, that all audiences can can enjoy. Nice, nice, nice. I know I do like I, I did like it, and and uh, to be honest with you, I went in for the volume two hardcover, so I could batch my volume one hardcover. <laughs> you know, so now I got a set. I'm gonna I'll be having a set. You know what I mean? <laughs> so now, now I can complete it. I was like, man, that's pretty awesome. I'm, I'm glad you did it, though. But let me take a moment to shout out because some people have joined. Uh, Marcus Givens in the house. Dr. Ventman's in the house. Cross Comics jumped in the house. Oranya Volcanen is in the house. My brother, kind of local sports, is in the house. Let's see what else. Kronos Cranian, talking about somebody got poisoned. Uh, keep keeping the news. Pope Fire came in for a little for a little bit, and yeah, we're cut up with everybody. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm glad you're doing it. Um, so I, I drop the link periodically to your Kickstarter. You know yeah, that no, way. I, appreciate you, that. I mean, it's been really awesome because a lot of people have really been. Um, uh, they've really been, uh, you know, supporting it and tweeting it out and all that. You know. So, oh, yeah. uh, you know, uh, yeah, like I said, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Yeah, no, no, it definitely indeed. And, you know, I can't wait for it to uh, so I can have it in the house in the hand so I can read it and finish out the story because it looks like it's going to be pretty interesting. Yeah. Well, we got the printer all set up. 
We're printing in the US, so there won't be any long waits. So as right. soon as the campaign's over and the funds have been distributed uh, to us, then we're just gonna go right to the printer. They've got all the print files and everything ready. It's just a matter of, you know, hitting the switch and printing them out. Mm. Um, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get them all out to you by the end of the year. Right, right. Now it's going to be pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty good, man. Oh, oh hold on, because uh, Pole Fire wants to show a little bit of trusty love. So hold on. Let me give trusty a little bit of I solo like love. The center, so you can see, you know. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, a little bit of a little bit of trusty love right there. So no matter, that's what she wants. She wants to pull fire, the <laughs> raven or whatever thing. It doesn't matter what Elizabeth Banks says. Men like strong women. <laughs> well, that's another blah. <laughs> uh, you know that that is so crazy, right? Like she said that before the movie came out. Yeah. Before it even hit the box office. As and, if she and, knew. <laughs> like. You know, like I'm gonna blame it on men already. <laughs> you know, just because, just because. <laughs> Rebel Comics is in the house talking about many and the Dingo Hour. You know, but uh, yeah, I don't. You know, uh, we we switched times, so Manny's probably still at work. For those of you who came by to check him out, he'll probably be by the time he gets home, we'll be off probably. But I'm pretty sure he started streaming again, right? I know he's done uh, one or two streams. Recently. Yeah. So, yeah, and like I said, I, I'll do my uh, two weekly, but two uh, streams for the week, and then next week I'm out the net for the whole week again. Doesn't it? Does it work out better now because you know they don't do daylight savings time, and and we're off of it now? No, actually. Is it worse? Know. I don't know. To be honest with you, I got to check it out. Let's see. Hey Siri, what time is it in Hawaii? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 like so Alexa, call Manny. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Uh, yeah, I don't know to be honest with you. Let's see, it's five twenty-two p.m. So I guess, I guess it works out better. Yeah, I guess it works out better. According according to Google, it's five twenty-two p.m. So. Hawaii Standard Time. Uh, so kids, says, kids, kids if you clap your hands and wish hard enough. Maybe Manny will appear. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's Bankman that's acting for Manny. I like strong women and strong men. One doesn't have to do ministry. You have to, yeah, yeah, exactly, Marania. You can't, you know, that's, you know, and people, um, what's up, KG? I, people don't like the Avengers movie, but I like the Avengers team up movies because everybody on the team has a pivotal role. You know what I mean? Yeah. And 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 it's not downplayed or upplayed one or the other you know what i'm saying it's just like hey we're the avengers boom that's why i like those movies i mean some people get into the plot and all that stuff but i just like the fact that they're able to show that people can work together despite their differences and um you know except the first avengers they were kind of dysfunctional on that one but well you know it's the I, the first meetup movie it's gonna be like yeah. that it was, but I digress. Trusty inter un interrupted oatmeal reading my comment. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. That's what. That's what. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so uh, yeah. So KG's in the house. No trusty mucho mala. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> you know. But it is what it is. You know. I mean, and and the only thing I can say about that is, shoot, Wonder Woman did awesome. You know, and and it's 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 not. It's not about whatever they're talking about, right? Mm -hmm. you know, it's how you portray it. You know what I'm saying? What what you're bringing, but how you, the unbreathable skunk girl says, aloha chat. Manny had an errand at the printer. There you go, people. Now you all know where uh, Manny's out. JCT Outdoor says, what's up? Tank Ferry is saying hello to everybody. And hey, everybody tank. Hi to Tank. It's about how you present it. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. And, and uh, if if at the beginning we you start, you know, attacking somebody or whatever, and then people are gonna kind of resent it. You know what I'm saying? Like, why? Why do I? Why do I want to bring that into my entertainment? I go to the movies, you know, to have one hour, two hours, or in the case of Endgame, three hours of, you know, just fun, escape. 
you know, clear my mind, think of, you know, be be taken to another world or another adventure, you know. Yeah, don't and, tell me what a bad person I am. Exactly. Don't don't use the movie to take away from what I want to do. And don't use your movie to just continue to to bring the stuff I don't want to hear about. Like I'm coming to the movie so I don't have to watch the news and deal with this and deal with that. You know, and and just to relax, you know. That's why gamers get it. That's why when gamers find a good game with a good storyline, they play that thing forever. They know life. Yep. You know, and and same thing with good movies. You know, you go in, <clears throat> and I uh, and it's all about having some fun. You know, I mean, I don't want to go to movies to be depressed. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, I, I hear about some movies that um, you know people that I work with, or whatever they go to see. Oh, we went to see this. I'm like, why in the world would you go to see that depressing thing? You know, I, I don't go to the movies to watch stuff like that. Yeah, I want to. I want to have fun. You know. Yeah, Carlos says Diablo, Diablo 2, 19 year old game. Go see how many views it get. That's what I'm saying. You know, people, um, when people, you know, go into these mediums, you know, it, it's it's just to, you know, just to relax, you know, just to give them mind a break. And that's why I tell people when I play video games, I like mindless shooters because I don't want to think. I just want to blow things up, shoot things, <laughs> and call it a day. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And and uh, for some people like the role playing games because it just distracts them, you know, and gives them a break, a breather, you know. They they use their mind in a different way, or whatever you want to call it, you know. But um, but it, it is what it is on that, you know. And, and when people start bringing craziness craziness into it, it, it just takes like it just takes the air out of it. Like oh, so if I go see this movie, I got to listen about this. Bull crap. I'll pass. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna pass. I'm just gonna pass on that. And I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird, and maybe I'm the only one who thinks like that. Um, but what I, can you say? Man? Yeah, I I still haven't seen Captain Marvel. You know, maybe ah. when we finally get the Disney Plus uh, service, once they get their security problems fixed. Yeah, and not, and not only that, um, well, but they do have Captain. I think they do have Captain Marvel, but they don't have all the rights to all their movies yet. Um, you right. know, because like Endgame is on there because I did the trial version. Endgame is on there, but Infinity War doesn't get there to June 2020. Pope Fire says something about I didn't read something she wrote. Something about no español. So much effort as an ex. <laughs> but. You know, and that's another thing I heard. The new Star Wars game is pretty good. <coughs> I heard I heard two reviewers say something good about it. So, you know, but uh, but it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. I mean, y'all don't want to hear me ranting and raving about Boom Boom. Yeah, that game has been getting a lot of buzz. Yeah, I heard a lot about it, to be honest with you, that new Star Wars games. Uh, uh, one of the guys that I follow... Um, the amazing Lucas is giving it, you know, his approval. So uh, I gotta check out a couple more YouTubes because those games are not cheap. So <laughs> exactly, I've still so, got so many games that I I've gotten for uh, presents or or bought and haven't played yet. You know, I could play for a couple more years before I need to buy another one. Yeah, well, I got the Xbox uh, Game Pass, so. Sometimes new games are just free. I just download them. You know, I pay like a monthly fee, like. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's kind of like Netflix for video games, but, it, you know, it's Xbox. Oh, yeah. No, I, I did the same thing with PlayStation for uh, a few years. And, yeah, I, I played some great games that way, stuff I would never have bought. But since I could download it for free and play mm -hmm. it, I discovered some stuff I really, really liked. Of course, I can't play it now because I don't have PlayStation Plus anymore, so I'm locked out of those games. Yeah. But, but I got to play them. Yeah. yeah, but the thing, like, uh, the one with the Xbox... Um, so Auto Worlds came out not too long ago, and I was able to download it onto my PC and my Xbox, and I was able to play it on both and then pay a dime for it. Just, you know, just have my subscription. Uh, C. Chrono says, I got like 50 games on Steam. I've not done on YouTube yet, but most are me, yeah. Uh, new Star, let's see, the game has been getting a lot of buzz. I've watched 30 hours of this guy so far, says Chronos. Evan Hotep says that, star, that Pope Fire said, Hail Raven. Uh, tech fair said later folks i was gonna say jimmy you said people don't want to hear you ranting and raving but i know there's some people who would like to hear you raving 
Yeah, yeah, that was a good one. Um, and then a uh, good deal there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I do the game. Um, so yeah, I, I like it though. You know, because if I can get if I can get it to play it both on PC and on the Xbox, and not you know just use my monthly subscription to it without having to pay sixty bucks. I mean. That's a lot of good, and all the Microsoft games go go on that, and I don't pay anything on it, which is amazing. So that's that's always pretty good. That's so wait, you, you don't pay anything? You don't even you don't have a yearly? Yeah, membership? I do have a yearly subscription. It's um, oh. it's like fourteen dollars a month, but that basically just with this subscription it covers my Xbox Live, which is my interweb, you know, so I can play online, and it covers the Game Pass library. Okay. And of course, if it's play anywhere, then I can play it on my, I can download it on my PC for free and my Xbox for free. So I don't have to pay for two games. So like I finished Outer Worlds on the P, I started the Outer Worlds on Xbox, but I like playing on PC better. So I finished it on PC, which that game was like reminding me so much of Firefly the series. I really enjoyed it a lot. I mean, my whole crew abandoned me at the end, but yeah. Yeah, Windows 10 users only, you're right. <clears throat> but right, why don't you have, you know. But I have Windows 10, so we came with the, with the PC, with the gaming laptop, so. But it's nice, man, I like it, it's a good deal. I enjoy it, I ain't gonna lie. Oh, hey, man. What's going on? You playing a cello now? That's my son. He's a violinist. No, he sounded pretty good. I know. Tony, come here, please. Bring your violin. He sounded really, really good. Come on, Getty, a copyright strike. Right. Come on. <laughs> Play Happy Birthday. <laughs> Nah, he was playing. Uh, Not playing this. To be on camera. Uh oh. <laughs> oh gosh. You ready? Put 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 it back on him. There's something. Yeah, good. we go. We gonna put it back on the wop and see if it. <laughs> now he's he's off to the side. He's only he just does not want to be on camera. Oh okay. All right. <laughs> okay. Myself, you get culture on the digital bullpen, folks. I know because remember when Manny used to uh play the ukulele, yeah. Oh, he did good, man. That was awesome. That but that was the Game of Thrones uh theme, right? 
Don't ask me. It sounded like Game of Thrones. I want to say it was. Uh, <laughs> Michael says exclusive content only on the digital bullpen. Look, man, we used to, remember when Manny used to come over here and play the ukulele, man? Yeah, when he was burnt out on drawing, he would just come do the ukulele. All right, I'm back. Pretty good. All right, El Guapo. We're trying to figure out if that was a theme from Game of Thrones or not. Well, I'm trying to figure out what the song was. Are you trying to figure out the song? Yeah, I thought it was from Game of Thrones. It is Game of Thrones. Oh, okay. That's what I thought. I never That's watched the series. <laughs> I was like, I've never seen Game of Thrones, but it's not funny. They like it. Yeah. <laughs> You know, I've never seen Game of Thrones, but it sounds Game of Throny. <laughs> There's got to be a couple people here that watch Game of Thrones. I, you know, I, I don't know to be honest with you. Uh, we got Benjamin in the house. He's he's saying hey from uh, D Live, and he donated nine lemons. Thank you very much. So we got people on D Live and YouTube checking us out. I see Manny's Christmas beer, or. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Everyday beard somewhere in there. You seen him? I didn't see him. I don't see. I He's don't under see books him. of shipping. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what we got going on. Yeah, he's in. Oh man, uh, D Life is going insane right now. Yeah, they did miss a concert. Uh, they did miss a concert. Um, it was an amazing concert, to be honest with you. Uh, watch the replay. <laughs> watch that's the right, replay. That's the reason I go back and rewatch the stream. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. KG says never watch an episode of Game of Thrones. Me either. But it was good though, right? I mean, that was a good rendition, was it not? It's very good. I thought it was an excellent rendition. Yeah, he's. Uh, like, uh, I think. How old I is your son? He's pretty good. How old is he? Seventeen. Okay. Yeah, he's good though. I'm not gonna lie. That was awesome. That just that just made it worth it. Like the stream tonight. I mean, always worth it, you know. And a wapo and trust you're around. Uh, yeah. But uh, that was I that was just trying to make things beautiful for y'all. You know what I'm saying? No, no, that was that was that was uh, that was an, a, a what you call it? That was a smashing success, old chop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was a smashing success. Uh, I, I ain't gonna lie. I think everybody liked it. Uh, Mariah says she wants the the record when he puts out his record. And, All right, I'll uh, definitely let you know. <laughs> she says she wanted to copy that so when she was sketching, you know, she could just check it out. Oh, she could just replay the stream when. Uh... Yeah, I know. Right, about forty eight some minutes. Oh no, excuse me, about thirty five minutes in, yeah. or yeah. 35 minutes into the stream, you will uh, you will get the music. You can always just pull pull the stream down and just snip that part, you know. But yeah. I, I'm not I'm not gonna say, you know, that, that that's what you should do. But you <laughs> could. If you did, I wouldn't be upset. And again, uh, <laughs> dropping the link for the red tan in the chat. Glad that uh, Benjamin is in the heezy. Everybody's in the house. All right, man. It looks like everybody's having a good time. So, for those of you that just join in, we got Trusty Psychic in the house. We got El Guapo, and then we got myself. Pull E Ortiz's fingers. Don't pull my fingers. <laughs> Don't do that. I like them. I like them where they're at. And uh. Yeah, we were talking about a little bit about Red Ten, El Guapo's project that's on Kickstarter, and uh, you know, and uh, of course some other some other good stuff that El Guapo's son serenaded us, which is pretty awesome. Which is pretty awesome. Anytime he wants to come and uh, and play the violin, he's more than welcome to. I'll make sure he knows that. Yeah, man, you know. That's uh, that's how we do, man. Like we like to give love to everybody's talent. Well, you know, it's sad because uh, so many schools are cutting out the arts. Yeah. 
you know, and mm -hmm. uh, they're they're putting curriculums in that have nothing to do with making students better, you know, like all this social engineering curriculums, you know, and they're spending millions and millions of dollars on these programs, and they're cutting things like arts and athletics and things like like, like things that are designed to improve you or make you better or make you a more rounded and whole person. And so uh, it's a shame, you know? And so we homeschool our kids, but all of my kids, we've made an emphasis that, that they participate in learning an instrument or having music or art be a part of their regular curriculum, you know? Um, because even if you don't become a great musician or a great artist, the fact that you learn a process of being creative helps you in other things that, that you uh, may do down the road, whether it's in sales or whether it's in, you know, the field of medicine or even as an office manager or, or a factory worker or whatever it may be, creativity plays a role can play a role in helping you just to do what it is that you're doing better. Yeah. Um, people forget that, that a long, long time ago, man, what we'll consider the, the Renaissance men, there were people that were, that took care of the body, the mind, you know, they, uh, they were physically fit, mentally fit, you know, they partook in, uh, in arts and music and sports and and that rounded them as a person that's the old school renaissance mom and uh and I, when i was in high school i kind of tried to do the same thing you know like i was in wrestling and boxing i was in band you know and of course i try to get decent grades but you know uh yeah yeah too much going on but anyway <laughs> let's see um, but no, that, that is important to be well-rounded, you know, and let's say that, um, critical thinking and, um, logic can be, uh, done through math or through music. Um, and for me, it's easier to do music than to do math. So band was definitely the better choice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, kind of local, the portrait says you was an awesome wrestler. That was a long time ago, but thanks brother. <laughs> um, cause that's my real actual biological brother um so marcus is telling me yeah marcus i heard about <clears throat> the maki the mustang maki it's it's more of an suv than a mustang but what happened with ford is they're losing so much money trying to make compliance cars aka economy cars aka cars that people <coughs> can afford and are good on gas that they decided to go electric but they don't want to do anything else other than the two cars. The two things that sold well for Ford is the Mustang and the F-150. Right. So they're going away from everything else that's not Mustang or F-150. So what they're doing is that now because uh, Tesla, believe it or not, uh, opened their patents up to the other car manufacturers because Tesla doesn't want to be a car manufacturer. They just wanted to open the 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 path for other companies to become uh, electric car manufacturers but the problem is those cars are expensive you know and i'm pretty sure that mustang mac e is not going to be uh cheap i seen the specs i seen the car they got a 210 to a 400 mile range battery the 400 mile range batteries that's about six thousand dollar cars battery packs are about thirty thousand twenty five to thirty thousand on their own for anything that goes that far so, so the only way those things are going to be, um, let's like for the first, uh, yeah, top end is about 65 grand, you know, like you look even at the Tesla, the Tesla, Tesla has what, uh, the standard range, which is like 30, 32, 30, no, 30, 39, 39. And that's the bare basic 230 mile, 220 mile range car. Then you got the um, standard range plus, which is about 42. Uh, that's 240 miles of range. Then you got um, the long range, which you don't have anymore. Then you go straight up to 
the all-wheel drive, which is 310 miles uh, of range at about 55. And then if you go for the big boy uh, Model 3, which is the cheapest one, it's about 65 for the for the one that's all out, you know, 312. <clears throat> 315 miles of range, 0 to 60 in 2.3 seconds, uh, all-wheel drive with Brembo brakes, the whole good thing, you know. So it does go up. And the Mach-E, if I'm not mistaken, will have the same amount of trims. It's going to have like four or five trim levels. And when it comes to repairs, the repairs, I don't know, because electric cars only have a couple of things, the electric motors and the battery packs. You know, I don't know about what else. I don't know about what else. But I'm still, I don't know. I don't like the, um, and then, of course, the Model Y is coming out at the same time that the Mach-E is coming out. So people that are, if you're going to bank on either getting a uh, Mustang Mach-E or a Tesla Model Y, you know, Tesla's been doing it a little bit longer than Ford has. So, you know, so. You know, there, there goes that. And like uh, Cronus is saying, the e-bike only costs $50 a month to operate for five years. Them motors are rated for a million miles, and the batteries are supposed to go for eight years, 100,000 miles. So um, the batteries will last you long enough. And uh, the whole process, if you're going to do it, is, is the hope that um, the technology keeps catching up. Let's use computers for examples. You know, computers used to cost so much mm -hmm. that the only the elite could have them, right? Now everybody has a computer. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That's still pretty expensive, but they're not tens of thousands of dollars. You know what I'm saying? And that's the whole thing, you know? Yeah, that I remember. Thing. I remember back in college, you know, we had one fraternity brother who had a Macintosh. And, and he was the only one in the whole fraternity who had a computer. So, of course, yeah. everybody wanted to use his to write their papers. Yeah, but now everybody has one. Yep. Everybody has one. And it's going to be the same thing. And it depends on you know, on people. You know, some people um, are not going to go away from petrol, and I don't blame them. You know, it's a, it's, a cho it's a choice thing, you know. What do you like? I specifically do like a Tesla, though, so eventually – it's gonna happen. Let's see, the cost is not coming down. I've had my bike for six. Oh, is, you don't think the cost is coming down? I think if different car manufacturers make them, they have to if they wanted to make it mainstream. It's gonna have to come down. If they want electric cars to be mainstream, eventually. You know. Yeah, I don't know about about the whole reason why or what. Like, to me, a car is not to make any kind of political statement, man. <laughs> to me, it's what you like, you know? And I like fast, you know? And and right now, the fastest electric cars are made by Tesla. I like fast. I like fast. And that, you know, that's that's just my thing. You know, until then, I, I'll make I'll make do with my Camaro. It's fine. You know, I'll make do. I'll deal with it. It's, you know, I will. I have to anyway. I have to anyway, and that's what I'm saying. If I have to anyway, yeah, oh, I'm gonna miss that six two six point two liter V eight four hundred and thirty horsepower. How many times do you drive that? Since I moved here, not very often. Yeah. But when I was in North Carolina, every single chance I got. <laughs> Five times a week, right? Every single chance I got. And because we have roads over there. We have roads that I can uh, long um, country roads. Yep, that you can open up in without Johnny Law being around. Say what you want to about country folks and their back roads, but they are fun to drive in. <laughs> Let's see, Paulo Romero's in the house. 
He says he wants a Ferrari. Hey, you keep drawing them, them drawings you keep making, you're going to get that Ferrari, Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, Marcus, man. I have to. I have to. I'm, I, what I'm getting in return is way more precious. You know, you got to Sometimes you got to make decisions, man. You don't, you don't. You know, when you're the patriarch or the head of the household, dumb decisions usually fall on you. You got to do what you got to do. It's all part of being a grown dude. Sigh. <laughs> Sad but true. Sad but true. I'm looking at another story about Ford versus Barry versus Tesla electric cars. Man, look. Hey, it's all about perspective, you know, and subjective. What do you want? What do you like? You know, hey, some people just just uh, want something to get by from day to day, point A to point B. Some people like, you know, a luxury with all the amenities. Yeah, but raggedy when when you're rolling that V8, uh, excuse me, when you're rolling that 6.2 liter V8, them deer don't come on that road. That thing is loud. <laughs> that thing is loud. And when I was driving my little four bangers, yeah, I used to see them all the time. After I got the monster, phew, nope. That thing is loud. But that's anywhere that you got a little bit of country road, man. Deers are everywhere in the U.S. Oh, man. You know, we get them. We have got them in our yard every night. You know. Hey, Lady Celtic Moon is in the house. Hey, and LCM. Let's see. F90 Stardale, check this car out. All right, I'm going to definitely check it out. Cross Comics says he's back. Where'd you go? Yeah, you know, he disappeared. He had things he had to do. He, you know, he's like, famous. He's like Colonel Flag on MASH. Nobody sees him come, nobody sees him go. He's like the wind. Lady Celtic Moon says, nice to see everybody here. Ain't it all right? Nice to see everybody here. Everybody chicken, chilling, hanging around, doing big things in life. Where's Shinobi? I don't think he comes on on Mondays. I think he can come on on Thursdays. I uh, think Mondays he's working. Okay. Yeah. I'm just um, not observant. That's it. Yeah, no, no. That's why he used to like <laughs> live stream on Tuesdays um, because he could jump in. But uh, when Manny decided to um, not stream for a while, then I... I took Monday so I could give myself a little bit more time between stream days, you know? Yep. So then I could just do um, Monday and Thursday. Uh, Chrono says the 1.5 million LaFerrari supercar, only 500 of which were produced, used electric motors to give a little boost to its V12 and push it to 954 horsepower. I'll tell you what, though. Uh, let's see what we got. I got my packing slant. I'm awesome. awesomes. That means mine should be coming in soon. But that'll tell you one thing about the electric cars, bro. Um, I checked my test drove one out. And when you hit the gas or the pedal or the throttle or whatever, there is no delay. It just goes. Like with the Camaro, when I punch it, you get that rev up, that mm -hmm. this nothing. There is no pause. There is no delay. You mash, you go. Period, point blank. It's crazy. I imagine that takes some getting used to. I heard people say that uh, some people get car sick in, in those kind of cars. But, uh, yeah, you know. I mean, it's like anything else. You know, you throttle, you... um. You know, you, you uh, adjust how much pressure you put on, blah, 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 blah. You get used to anything. It's always what I used to tell people. Colonel says, anyone lend me 1.5 million? Look, if if Pablo keeps drawing, if, if Pablo Romero keeps drawing the girls with the boobies all over Twitter and all those people get angry, they'll pay him to stop drawing and then he can afford to loan you 1.5 million. That's what's gonna happen. They're gonna like, look, well, we're just gonna pay you to stop drawing. How about that, Pablo? 
because you're triggering us. You're triggering us, Paulo. Twitter land is triggered by people like Paulo, which I find hilarious. So we were playing with match uh, with uh, player number two is in the house. Uh, I don't know who that is, but sure, why not bring him in? Doesn't know who that is, huh? There you go. We figured it out. <laughs> we figured it out. We always figure it out. So anyway, we were playing around. Uh, El Wapo shot a, shot a tweet out about uh, Red Ten. Um, and then um, since I happen to have Volume 1, I shot out, you know, I shot a, a little pic of some interior covers. No spoilers allowed. Uh, some interior artwork. No spoilers allowed. And Macho Dan, not yeah, Macho Dan said he owed me a virtual high five for that. Yeah, I saw his little virtual high five. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter thing for you. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know if, if, if I needed to be terrified, Ooh, or what, yeah. but it was so hilarious, man. And uh, but you know the thing is, I was just playing with him, and because uh, you know I give him a hard time about that because on the original campaign. Yeah, Marcus, Dodge uh, Demons are nice, but Dodge break down too much. So when I was in the when I was shopping, um, I, it was between uh, Dodge, the uh, Camaro, <clears throat> and um, the Mustang, uh, Shelby. And I started reading reviews, and a lot of people were like, you know, Dodges were breaking down too much, and I was like, mm. mm -hmm. so then I was like, okay. Um, between the Camaro and the Mustang, and I was like, ah, uh, you know, that Puerto Rican thing says Chevy, and then I said, all right. <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, we put Puerto Ricans and Chevys, you know. But uh, anyway, so that's what I want. That's That was a driving factor. But, yeah, them Dodge Demons are nice. If you can keep them operational, I am mad at them. <laughs> Chevette's are great. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. The thing is, like, um, when you start out with a Nova SS as your first car, when you're like 18 year old guy, <laughs> you 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 eventually want to go back to something like that, you know. And uh, you know, it was a long road. That's funny. I have no desire to go back to a Chevy Vega. <laughs> well, None whatsoever. I, don't, I don't know. Maybe I, I'm weird. Huh? I don't blame you on that. <laughs> I don't blame you on that. It's like a, you know, like people don't even know what those things are. Like the Ford Pinto, the ones that used to blow up if you hit them from the, uh, if you had. Oh, yeah. oh gosh, yeah. <laughs> you remember those? Uh-huh. Oh, my Lord. But anyway, I digress. People don't know about those things. Remember when Yugos were a thing? Yep. I, I've told on the stream before how my senior year roommate in college bought himself a Yugo. Uh, yeah. He wanted a new car and he had $4,000. That was all he could get. A new <laughs> car was. Uh, we have a 2008. Hyundai Elantra, I think the model is run fantastic. Husband loves to schedule. Man, yeah, you know, it is what it's what is all all of this is subjective. You know what I'm saying? Like um, the Hyundai is nice. Um, all of this is subjective. You know, what do you need from your car? You know what I'm saying? And, and what are you using it for? And then you do what's best for you and your family. I, I you know, that that's the way I believe in it i don't i don't really have much anything to say about that that's my philosophy about everything you get what works for you and your family despite of the situation yeah and everything is subjective it just so happens that i was in a position where i could get what i wanted <laughs> so that's what i did and now i'm, I'm in a different position so i adjust i adjust You know, and that's what you do. 
that's what life is, right? It's, uh, it's a lifetime of adjustments and decisions. That is the way of it. Who's player number two? Josh Chris Art, a.k.a. the Copic Kid. Oh, hey. What's up, Josh? Hey, man. One of my favorite guys in the world. Ooh, that's looking good, Josh. <laughs> that's why I'm oh, speaking of which. Um, I guess uh, Pope Fire received your uh, your commit the commission you did for her. Yes, she did. She loved she it. Was blowing me up. Oh, was she? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me let me uh, <clears throat> let's see. Let me see. Um, Oh my God! Did you know piece from Josh is beautiful? Looks like a digital piece. It's so perfect. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you liked it. It's it's so beautiful. <laughs> he is the Copic Kid, huh? He colors with Copic markers, so we call him the Copic Kid. It's perfect. I need to hire him more. Cool. My job is done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she already asked me to do another one. I said, well, it's gonna be a while. And and that was it. That was the extent of it. I, I hope y'all like my dramatization of what, in my mind, she sounds like. <laughs> yeah, she was like, "Can you, can you do another bust?" And I was like, "Ah, it's gonna have to wait until about December-ish because I got the Comic Con coming up." So, all focuses on that. Besides, where I'm on here, you know, I'm, I'm not trying to get my my stuff showing on the camera right now. I'm just. Focusing on this stuff when I'm with you guys. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I ain't mad, brother. Shoot, no, Pope is not on. I was just, <laughs> I was just reading. <laughs> I was just reading the message. She was hitting me up. She hit me up earlier today. She was super excited about Josh, and I told her when she said she wanted something manga like. I said, man, your best bet is Josh. But yeah, you know, she liked how I packaged it too. She's like, oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, well, I don't like the. I like that stuff falling around, so I pay a little, a little bit more for packaging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. People are saying no Manny tonight. No Manny. Manny's in Hawaii. He's doing some printer stuff. You know, he's got to get Skunk Girl out. You know, he'll probably do his own stream soon. Uh, Lady, which unbelievable Skunk Girl said, we used to fit three boys in a Mustang. Yeah, I'm not that. On, I'm not trying to go through all that. I am not putting. A, nope, I'm not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. I, not got it. Mm -mm, man, that's that just sounds like way too much work. I'm all about efficiency and saving time and driving fast whenever I can. This <laughs> doesn't happen in this state. Oh, wait a minute. And now, I guess she heard me. Oh, no, she sent me a photo of her team thing. There you go. <laughs> Looks good though. Looks good. Looks good. Yeah, she was super ecstatic about it. You know, I was like, oh my lord. <laughs> I was like, she is super happy. She, she didn't had me, she had me worried at first. Yeah, she didn't I, she didn't understand the whole copy kick joke. <laughs> well, not that part. She she had me worried about uh she was like, Well, can you do something different in the background? I was like, not at this point now. So, because she was like, well, it, it might scare some people. I'm like, well, that's kind of the character you asked me to do, <laughs> not a normal character. And even I was going, what? And <laughs> uh -huh. hey, look, man, leave it up to me to find you something challenging to do while putting coin in your purse. Well, of course, she wanted a twist on it. So the character was in a Nightwing uh, jacket. So I had to figure out how to position the character to be in that. Yeah. No, um lady it gets easier with time, Josh. Yeah, it gets easier. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't send me um that drawing. She sent me something else that she's doing for her book. And I'm not putting it out because I don't know if that's something she wants to be she wants to put out. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. And I'll leave that one alone. So I don't get in trouble. They see, then the baby, then we had another baby and the boys grew, so we got a truck. And yep, and yeah, I'm just lazy. I'm not gonna try to squeeze people in. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Man, 
I, I still remember when we used to be able to ride sitting on the tailgate of the truck. And that was a long time ago. They don't do that now. Oh, People no. die that way. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, you can't even ride a bicycle without a helmet no more. Yep. I had a moped because I was younger than uh, everybody in my grade. So they all got their driver's license before I did. I, but I had a moped that I would ride uh, to school. Hey, look, it's better no than a bicycle. But you know what? To be honest with you, I do miss riding uh, bicycles back in the day. You can just ride bikes anywhere. Yeah. You know? That's always pretty awesome. I do miss that. I'm not going to lie. I mean, it's not like I'm really excited about trying to drive, uh, ride a bicycle in this in these areas where people don't know how to drive. I ain't trying to kill myself. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> That's not what I'm about. I'm gonna stay in my four, you know, my four wheels and and uh, and and you know, protect it as best as I can. Cause wow, some of these people, whoa, Lord have mercy. It's just not a good deal. It's no bueno, man. No bueno. No bueno. They don't know uh, how to drive in sunny weather, right? Yep. Not that we have much of that here, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yeah, yeah, man. So I'm sorry that I took a I took a hiatus last week, man. But you know, I just needed a I, I needed a breather. And um, you missed out on a good Pokemon. And the wife, you know, she was she just needed some some TLC. Yeah. So you know, spend time with the spousal, give her some TLC. Get away from a little bit of this drama. You know, uh, not in this channel, of course. I was gonna no, say, it's the drama. Yeah. But, you know, just I just kind of took a breather, just kind of stayed away, just retweeted and whatnot, but not be on social media. Like, just took a breather. I just needed a breather. Well, you know, Steve I, mean, and I had a good time last week. Oh, yeah. You know, it, and Wapo, man, he, he's the life of the party, man. I thought you all knew. Did I know? Oh, yeah, I did do a stream last week. <laughs> and that's what yeah, it was so memorable. Trusty joined me. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what made it so great. He can't even, he has so much fun. He completely blacked out. Oh, that's it. I'm telling you. It's like the <laughs> hangover. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So she said, yeah. She said, Manny still has the Mustang. Guess who has the truck? Yeah, well, you know, when I got into a situation where, yeah, but now situa situations change, man. Situations change. That's all I'm saying. Situations change. And maybe one day I'll get back in it. But for now, I got to be more responsible. More responsible, you know. Hey, let's see that page you're inking. No, you don't want to see this mess. <laughs> Let's see what's going on. Oh, it's a digital bullpen, so we're going to take a look at this. All right. I am right now drawing lines. Lots of little lines. It's my favorite thing to do in life. Welcome to Drawing Lines. SD Cross Comics says, hi, just when I needed you the most. <laughs> you missed the rules apocalypse. Uh, I must think, you know, I just want to you know, hey, all right, I'm caught up on the chat. I'm back to drawing little lines. This is the glamorous part of the uh, in game. So, I'm telling you, I'm going to suggest this to you. I'm always open to suggestions. Here's what I want, what I think you should do when you do these digital uh, inking things. And even when you're inking traditional, I want you to to do the the outlines, but more than anything, what I want you to do is I want you to block in all the all the solid black areas mm -hmm. and fill them. Fill all and the solid blacks first. Yeah, and then take the pencils out and then look at it, all right? How does it read, okay? 
you see right there, you don't, you can't tell what area needs um, rendering, what doesn't, because you need to make sure that your lighting, because this, I'm looking at this paint, and I, I don't know if if this, when I was drawing it, because this isn't a finished pencil page, so I don't think that I hit the lighting as properly as it should have been hit. Mm -hmm. And so, so I'm just gonna blame that, you. You go. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead. The nice thing about digital is that you can do that. You know, block in everything and then see how how it how it reads in high contrast. Okay. And then you can work on your edge lighting and determine how thick or thin you <coughs> want the edge and then go in and then render, uh, especially with this one, because I didn't do a lot of rendering. I did some, but like, you know, it wasn't completely ham. So here you get to play around with that a little bit. So by so doing it, in that that way, it allows you to see uh, how you can translate this page um, the best in, you know, keeping true to the pencils, but also adding your own uh, rendering touch to it. Right. I got a long way to go on this on this drawing. I ain't gonna lie. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a while. It's gonna take a little bit of time. Especially since, like I said, I didn't do anything last week. I just completely psh, like, nope. Yeah, you kind of went um, silent running there. Yep. I, I was dark. a little worried. I went dark. Yeah, but you know, when I go dark, it's not because anything's wrong. Just because I need a breather. Yeah, I said, just wanted to spend time with the misers. With the misers. Yes, you eat. Yes, y'all. And uh, yeah, I didn't even play video games. I just kind of chill. Kind of refreshed your soul. Yeah, sometimes you need it. Yep, absolutely. It's just because, like I said, all this, all the bull crap that's going on, you know, it's, it's just, you know, and, and uh, I've been distancing myself from a lot of that. I just like to have fun. <laughs> you know, that's what I always thought about social media is just have fun, you know, keep it moving. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And uh, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know. But anyway, I digress. I digress. Yeah, I didn't watch much dreams either, you know. I just kind of left that everything alone. Um, just refocus, repurpose. But now I'm back. But next said next week I'll be out of I'll be out of town. So I won't be streaming either next week. You going um visit family? Uh, yeah, extend it. In that area? Uh, back home? Nah, yeah, in this area, California. Okay. No, I'm not trying to get off in your business. I'm just. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's not. It's uh, it's the what do you call it? Because it got some freaking flyer miles. You know what I'm saying? I mean, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's it's an in-law thing. So it's gonna be interesting. I never met the. I never met uh, this side yet. Wow. So. Every Every Thanksgiving, we've been flipping, you know, rotating. Because <laughs> every, you know, people are so spread out, you know, so we just rotate, rotate until eventually we get everybody. You know, because uh, apparently I'm a celebrity or something like that. <laughs> well, we know that. Yeah, I, I know. I know you guys. I know you guys love me. I know. I know I love you guys, too. <laughs> Oh, hey, R Risey today on uh, somebody's stream, can't remember which one it was, but he said, you know, you had the sexiest voice on YouTube or something akin to that. Oh, yeah? Still? Uh, I, think, I think people will get tired of me by now. <laughs> Risey's always been a good guy, man. Yeah, did you watch his unboxing video for Skunk Girl? I have not. I have not because... Oh, it's, not, it's there. 
Cause, cause I just, I just, you know what? It seems like I almost the last person to get whatever book I order. Like, I think LCM said she already got her um her uh, Packers Land Omnibox, right? Me, not so much. <laughs> I don't know. With some girl, sounds like I might be one of the last. Yeah, I think so too. And I was because uh, uh, Pope Fire was asking me about it. And I was like, I, I think that be that us that back Manny's most of us backed him at a pretty high tier, which means he's got a lot more work to do for us. You know what I mean? So, mm -hmm. so I'm always like one of the last ones to get it, you know. And I'm just I'm still waiting. I, I mean, I was hoping to have the omnibus by now because I did buy two copies uh, and I wanted to give. Um, a copy to my nephews. Well, you know that that I'm gonna meet him for the first time, but they're nephews, you know, by marriage. Now and that's so, cool. That's cool. I remember one year I was giving out copies of Bone as Christmas presents. Yeah, you know, and I, you know they're good kids. Um, and I sent them uh, the Action Bible, and they loved it. So I was thinking that maybe since. Um, since uh, Gary Shipman is, you know, he's like a clean cut family guy, mm -hmm. you know, that maybe packing and I've read all the packings and stuff that I can get my hands on. So I was like, ah, you know, this would be pretty cool. You know, maybe, I, you know, they're at that age where I think packings land would be awesome for them, you know? Yeah. You know, so I was hoping to have it, but I don't have it. So nah, it's whatever. I'm not even mad, you know, because it's not, it wasn't his fault. That was something that happened with the shipping and the printing. Right. You know, but you know, so I just want to. I didn't want to go empty handed the first time, you know, I meet uh, meet some in laws. Uh, I'll figure something out. Okay, you said, like that, you'll be the cool one. <laughs> well, yeah, you know, um, it'd be nice, you know, I got other talents, you know. Yeah, let's see. Uh, Shinobu Barakun introduced me to you guys back when, and I'm so glad he did. Well, we're so glad he did introduce you as well. Absolutely. You know, we, we do love our, our, our audience. You know, you all guys come in and make it fun for us, and we stream, and we try to give you some decent art. <laughs> for the most part, you all get that magnificent uh, trusty, uh, the magnanimous El Guapo, and the Copic Kid. Because no, I don't know what else to say about him other than, you know. He's really good at adjectives and adverbs. I'm just like, yeah, hey, that guy. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what sort of alliterative? Uh, corpulent? No, no. Conspicuous? Eh. He, like the, mark, he likes to color with markers. You know, it's funny because that's what I told. <laughs> what? He likes to color with Copic, so we call he him the Copic kid. Copic. You know, but it's not a bad thing because his coloring is amazing. You know, she said it looks like he did it digitally, but you know, it's not. And that is harder than it looks, folks. I don't know about that. I think she's just liking it too much to to to, to give it, you know, the whatever it is. But yeah, it it I don't know about digital. I put some time into it, but shoot, man, that spawn you did is on a frame. It looks freaking awesome on that frame. Oh, the spawn! Uh, yeah, man, I'm halfway tempted to send you a better one. I mean, this was good. I like it, man. It, it man, once I put it in the frame, it just popped. I did not realize I own so many Gary Shipman pieces of art. Right? I got a, I got a pretty much a Gary Shipman section. You know, two of them are prints, but one of them is original. Two of them are one. And then I, and then I got an original, which is the Peter Pan, which is pretty, actually pretty doggone nice. So it's pretty good. What else do I got more of the, as a matter of fact, um, I also didn't know this, but I had one um, a signed copy of Packing's Land uh, from Gary Shipman from one of the old ones that he did. And I was pulling out my books the other day and saw it on there. I was like, wait a minute, when did I get this? And it was Packing Land issues one and two. And he uh, I won it and he signed it and he sent it to me. 
I didn't even know I had that. Pretty cool stuff, man. This community has been pretty awesome. The guys that are awesome have been pretty awesome. <laughs> Lady Celtic Moon said, a trusty psychic. I saw your first video today. Oh, nice. Was was it the inking stream where I was finishing up Raven <laughs> on here? <laughs> the late night inking stream, you mean? That was actually my second one. Oh, wow. You just they, are, they are few and far between. <laughs> Oh, I, yeah, I wanted to hop on that stream last night, but I was like, I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't put the link out anyway. <laughs> I thought I was watching something where you were inking. I was I was inking, but I didn't I didn't put the link out to um you know like the stream yard link for anybody to join in. Oh I see. Yeah, yeah. I I definitely uh I was like, man, I wanna okay get on that and uh but Decided against it. But I did watch you ink, which was very relaxing. Yeah, watching Trusty do anything is pretty fun. You know, Trusty's gonna have the trusty apple baking, mm. apple pie baking show, and it will be fun. Well, yeah. I could certainly do that. I'll show you how to make the bed and fold the sheets and <laughs> how to separate your lights from your darks and all that good stuff. That's how that's how Trusty does, man. That's how I roll. That's how he rolls. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the wrong way. I'm trying to. I'm. I don't know if I, man, you might recognize this, but I, I'm remastering. Uh, and yeah, that looks like uh, the soldier one. God's yeah, soldier. yeah, God's and soldier. And I, I want to go with maybe a little bit grittier inking, inking style. So I don't know if you'd notice how many times I've inked this and deleted the ink. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen about three times now. Yeah. I've been paying attention, apart from trying to read the chats and try yeah. to do my own inking. I, mean, I, I think, I, think I, I might have. I think I might have found are, something. So. Are you going to read that book in black and white? Um, That's a good question. I think I, I, think I might. Um, If anything, I might hit it with some gray tones. So if you know someone that, you know, can can do some nice gray tones, you know, with either digital or Copics. I would like to partner up with them on this, um, raise some funds, get them paid. You know, I don't know. You don't. Do we know anyone like that? Uh, the Copic kid is pretty good, but he's busy. Uh, but I'm referring to homie. But I think he's gonna be busy doing um, cons. So, Josh. Oh, sorry, I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> I'm over here vaping while I'm doing stuff. Like I don't want to, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, know, Josh, yes. so I guess what I could do is once all the line, it's it's nothing really but just hitting it with some gray tones. I mean, I can hit it real quick and you know, like a, a page or two, and let you take a look at it, see if it's worth it. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know those guys. It's like let me let me show you what I can do first, and if it's not what you want, then don't worry about it. You know. I think if you're gonna do any kind of um samples for me, I definitely will pay you for that. Uh, you don't have to worry about that, man. No, I understand. It's just a thing I do. Um, but um, all right, yeah. Let me, like I said, I'm remastering this because I wanted to go with a little grittier look. Um, and and. He knows because he saw the first. He has a, a copy of the uh, the original uh, run that I, I put out. I'm a very blessed individual. Sometimes you are. Dang man, you got like a lot of ground level stuff. I do, man. I'm so happy. That's why I can I can vouch for you when people when you talk about Red Ten. I can confidently vouch for you because I have read it, Volume One, all the way down to Five Heroes Left. Because volume two covers from four to zero. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some of them, some of them is pretty crazy the way they die, but hey, no, no spoilers. No spoilers. <laughs> yeah, well, I always want to make sure what the way they die, they stay dead, you know. You know, and the funny thing is, I almost blew it because you did the the whole Mazu page. Uh-huh. And I was like, rest in peace. <laughs> Because uh, I was like, wait a minute, that was 
that was the third one to die or the fourth one? <laughs> it's like, she didn't make it too far. But anyway, I digress. I ain't going to say nothing else. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I ain't going to say nothing else. Fish out of water. That's that's what happened. Fish out of water. <laughs> Y'all can figure that out on your own. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's funny because I, you know, I feel like I've improved and I, I've kind of like uh, pretty much nailed down a certain style for myself. But, you know, I'm always evolving. Even with this piece, you can see that this looks different. And, you know, I always want to try new things. But I look back, when you look back at your older work, you know, you're like, dang, you know, I can't believe that that actually wasn't too bad. You you, you know that uh, uh, it was leading to somewhere, you know. Uh, and it's always nice to kind of revisit that. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah, I liked it. I liked the the guys and soldiers. I thought it was pretty cool, man. It, it did leave me kind of cliff hung. So you know, that's kind of kind of sad, kind of sad, because oh, I know I mean, it's gonna be a while before I get issue there. That's you know, it's gonna issue. be a while before I get issue number two. You know, but I'm happy and I can get my Red Ten Volume Two fixed now, so I can get that book ended and done. Yeah, you know, Chango, Chango will be making its way out to you as well. Chango's gonna be coming out, you know. So, so man, I think uh, I think I'm, I own a lot of uh, not everything, but I own I own quite a few things done by by El Guapo, um, which is pretty cool. Gary Shipman, like I said, once I heard about him, I, I went back and found as much Packing's Land as I could find. So I think I got almost all, but the last part of Packing's Land, which the only bus is supposed to cover. You know, um, I actually, believe it or not, do have the the old Harris comic Cyber Frogs running around somewhere that a friend of mine, uh, Steve Philip, got for me, Josh. Um, are you gonna so, Are you gonna do the the nineties thing? What nineties thing? Well, he's he's collecting. His the Cyber Frog series they put out in the nineties. Mm -hmm. Oh, the War he's, doing a, uh, he's doing an Indiegogo campaign, my understanding. I got them all already. Because Philip, a friend of mine, uh, Josh's friend Philip, which is also a friend of mine, he used to work at a comic book store in uh, right. Kentucky, and um, so he once he heard about Cyber Frog coming out, he uh, he got them all for me. So I got oh, pretty cool. I got all those '90s ones already done. So I'm not interested in what he's doing. <laughs> I'm not interested in. I just wanted to get that and complete the, and like like I'm doing with uh, Red Ten. I want to book in the com and complete the thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And <laughs> I'm not really interested in anything else because I've already got them and I've already read them. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> like I'm really good. I'm not really interested. Um, really you know, I don't know for if you how many people use Clip Studio here. Um, I always forget how to do the copy and paste into another panel. Oh, uh, that's a great question. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to do I've that. I've done it before, but it's like I gotta, I gotta write these keystrokes down because I never do. I stumble across them, I figure it out, and then I, I don't. You know who knows, Manny? But Manny's not here. And then he's taking care of some stuff. He's at the printers. Yeah, I don't know how to copy and paste from one panel to another, to be honest with you. Mm. I have a hard time doing anything else, like selection-wise and stuff. So maybe if there's someone in the uh, in the chat that's... That's clips savvy. Yeah. yeah we got to wait Second delay <laughs> with <laughs> what we're saying and what the chat types. Oh, man, this stream is flying by. Wow. All right. It's flying by. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, man. But guys and soldiers, look, to be honest with you, and it's not because El Guapo is, is, a, is a friend of the show. Uh, his books are actually decent, man. They're really good. I've, I've enjoyed 
everything he sent me, I have actually enjoyed with no problem. I mean, I, I, I thought they've been pretty awesome. And uh, very comparable to anything the big two were Image or Dark Horse or, uh, you know, uh, Boom <coughs> that have put out. So I'm, I'm telling you right now, if, if you get into it, it's, it's not a loss, man. It's going to be is going to be uh coming out as a as a trade uh and uh god the soldiers is the first part of the story then the second act of the story is going to be uh where have all the good gods gone and uh so it's a crazy story with um Kind of like an Indiana Jones vibe, uh, and uh, a lot of adventure, uh, a little bit of a pulpy feel, but uh, I would say that um, that adventurer style story. And then there's there's a, a, a good cross section there because the guy that I'm drawing right now, he's he's uh, got some PTSD uh issues from when he um served in uh in the marine corps in, Af in uh, afghanistan and he saw some things and he's been struggling with it and it's been affecting his his personal faith as a christian and so um he's he's f definitely fighting some demons you know um but then it literally turns out that uh they're actually coming face to face with uh interdimensional entities that uh, should be pretty exciting. Yeah, I liked it. I like the way it ended. It was a cliffhanger, but I like the way the first book ended. It's like, yeah, this is going to get good quick. So hurry up, finish your other projects so I can get so I can get my uh, you know what I'm saying? So I can get my uh, Guys and soldiers on. Let's see what did they say. We're also on Twitch. Check out my Instagram. I'm trying to figure out what they're typing here. I think this is pretty fun. Check out my stream. Uh, Paolo says he does line out on different layers, so he doesn't know. Man, does that help? El Wapo. What did she type before that? Lady Celtic Moon moving. There. What is she? I don't know. Did someone actually give me the, the nah, no, 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 not that I can see. All right, moving right along, moving right along, moving right along. But, uh, yeah, oh, that was from the Muppets, wasn't it? Yep. Moving right along. Hi, <laughs> hey, 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 from here. <laughs> We're in stereo. <laughs> there you go. And those things happen. Those A lot of things happen in this stream that just people don't expect. Violin, you know, Doing Muppet Kermit. Show. <laughs> the Muppet Show happens. You know, we, we are definitely something else. We got to be careful, though. The Muppets are owned by Disney. Oh, no. I know. Don't say that. The mouse owns everything. Be very, very quiet. That's Warner Brothers. <laughs> Why, we're, hide, we're hiding from Disney. <laughs> <laughs> See what Josh is working on. I give everybody a little bit of love. Oh, nothing exciting right now. I'm just trying to figure out some colors to splash onto the background and call it. This piece will be done. Yeah. So when is the con? Uh this this weekend. Oh wow. So like now this like, won't be there. This is this is stuff I'm working on for um Lexington Comic Con. I always debut all my new stuff there. Debut. So, Man, that sounds fancy. I know, right? That sounds fancy. When you're there five years in a row, people will start recognizing you. So five years, man. Shoot. Mm -hmm. 
Lady Celtic Moon says, Crip Studio, Control Copy, Paste, Control V. All right. There you go. What is it? She says, Control Copy is Control C, and Paste is Control plus V. No, yeah. The keystrokes, I, just, I tried that. I don't know what the heck. I can't get it. I just want to put the same uh, panel into the second one, panel one into panel two. I only have to make a minor change in the eye and the mouth, open it up. Everything else stays the same. But I did that and I couldn't get it to uh Can't get it to stick. Couldn't get it to, couldn't get it to happen. Are you um are your panels on different layers? Let me show you how we can yeah, yeah. move things but I think uh, you, I guess control copy on one layer and then move to the other layer and control C. I, I, I guess. Control V. Can you See, just du I, duplicate the layer and erase everything else and then scoot it around? You can duplicate the layer. That would be mm -hmm. on the on the layer side. Just right click on the whatever layer you want copied and then duplicate. Might not be the most elegant way to do it, but yeah, I know. So let me do it. So if I duplicate. The layer. All right. But it'll put it in the same exact space that the other layer is in, unless you can move it. You can select the layer and then move it to the second panel. Let me try that. Let's see if it. I know how to do that much. Oh, see, that's not even showing. Why isn't it showing? I mean, is it the same as in Photoshop? Because in Photoshop, you just do a selection window on as long as you got the active layer. Do a selection window on what you want to copy, and then just go up and do an edit copy and then do an edit paste and then move it into position. It'll be on its own layer, but then you can flatten it. All right, let me try that. It's gotta be an easy way. I don't know. I, 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 Probably, I, I, right? We just, we just don't know what it is. I have not worked on clip studio enough for that. To be honest with you, and I apologize for my ignorance, good sir. That's because it's actually in this space up here, it's just on this layer, so it's. <laughs> Whenever in doubt, YouTube it out. Actually, How much Adrian we're over here um, listening to instructions on how to copy and paste layers. Oh, oh my gosh, it cannot be that easy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so select it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Copy, paste. What do you mean I'm on my own tonight? No. All right, I guess it isn't that easy. <laughs> Sorry, Adrian, we were just mesmerized by the uh, the Clip Studio instructions. So we were yeah, well, yeah, no, everybody's here, trusty, Josh. Uh, the whole works. Oh, because I got it on solo view for tr for Josh. Hold on. Oh, okay. So it's picking that copy up. There you go. Now, now I got multi views. All right. So let me go back. <laughs> I think I figured it out. Maybe. See, that's why it's a digital bullpen, right? That's right. That's right. So right now we're just we're just helping El Wapo let himself figure out what he needs to do because we don't know. <laughs> so we just listen to El Guapo figuring things out. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll, okay, I'll 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 look stupid so that the rest of y'all can benefit. All right. You know, it, it's not even about that, brother, because we just don't know. We don't know how to. Right. We're all sitting here waiting to take notes. <laughs> <laughs> There's kids in the class that don't ask the question that, you know, everybody wants to know, but nobody wants to ask. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
we're just we're just like yeah that that's a great question what is the answer sit and wait sit and wait put that back up there yeah so there i see you got it selected we're gonna copy that's right pablo we re we learn from el guapo because he's on instagram facebook and click studio now we're gonna drop it down here although we gotta be able to see what we're looking at so let's go yes we're gonna apply the transformation we're gonna go to that oh, where is it ah, coño <laughs> that, that's how you know you're messing with a Puerto Rican right there. <laughs> that, was, that was straight frustration. <laughs> Y'all didn't even know, but that was straight frustration. <laughs> no, that's, no, that's, oh, oh, what the heck, man? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Okay, maybe what I need to do. Oh my lord. No, no, don't apply transformation. All right. So I'm gonna go to that. Oh, get in there. God, wait a day. All right, here. Now I'm gonna do this. What do you mean there's no object here? El Wapo Moraña says, I draw tradition, so learning tips on digital art will help me when I can afford to make the next leap. <laughs> so see, you are being beneficial to more people than you realize. Ryan, you're sorry. I didn't mean to throw that phone you up. <laughs> it's all good, man. <laughs> right now, I, I, I'm distracting him with draw with Trusty's drawing. Well, <laughs> I've got to go wash my hands. I just got ink all over my fingers trying to push that uh, tip back in the marker. I still haven't figured this out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put it back on Mr. Joshua Christopher. Joshua. Yes. <laughs> what is it that you're drawing, sir? This is Hunter from the Pokemon series. Okay. So I'm, I'm not very good with Pokemon, so, you know. Yeah. The new game, man, it's all I've been playing. That and the new Star Wars. Jeez, I heard man. that thing is amazing. Dude, that Star Wars game, you need to give it a shot. It is so good. I, I mean, everybody's giving them good reviews. It is not forgiving. It is Dark Souls with Star Wars. Oh wow! And I'm not a, I'm not a Dark Souls fan, but I, I fell in love. I can't do no forgiving games. I'm not that good. Then again, freaking Outer Worlds is not that forgiving either. Yeah, I haven't, still haven't played that. The new Star Wars game came out and that's what I jumped on. Yeah, Outer Worlds was pretty good. I liked it. Was the new Star Wars game on Game Pass or did you No, buy it? no, no, no. I bought it. Uh, yeah, I don't have a problem buying games still. You know. I'm trying to stay within the confines of Game Pass if at all possible. Right. No, I don't see it coming to Game Pass for a while. It's just, it's too good. It's too good? Yep. Yeah, I can check it out. It, it, it's got a really nice, nice story to follow. Um, it, it follows the, the Star Wars uh, storyline pretty well. I mean, it adds a few neat, neat new things to it. Um, and then you're not stuck, you know, on like, okay, you're on planet two, wherever it is, and you do everything on there. No, it, you, you get done with what you can do on planet two, but you're going to have to come back because you advance further with your character with like, AKA force abilities. And, uh, and then you, you have to come back because now, you know, new moves, which will access different parts of the map that you could not get to before. All right, sounds cool. So, um, and one of the major things they hid for a long time is that you get a double bladed lightsaber. Oh, yeah, yep, they hid it until uh, that London Expo they had last week, and they're like, Something we didn't show anybody here it is. And while he's in the middle of his fight, all of a sudden he just 
pushes another button and another blade comes out the other side and he goes to town with it. I'm like, oh my God, now I have to get it. <laughs> right. So, uh, Paolo says, is it harder than the NES Star Wars? Well, I mean, I beat that, so. Okay. Uh, Adrian is saying, has anyone seen The Mandalorian? I have watched two episodes of it, and I love it. Okay. I haven't seen it yet. I only got the trial, and I didn't get around to watching anything. So shame on me. <laughs> I mean, you I watched the, You only got the Disney trial? I got the trial just to check it out. Yeah, there's too many things on there cartoon-wise. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to watch that. Yeah, you know, we'll see. You know, right now, we just, uh, I'm in that whole cycle of uh, cutting cutting costs wherever I can and then seeing what I really want to keep. Oh no, I'm 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 right there with you. You know, we've been we've been getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff in the house. You know, we've been downsizing some stuff, but you know, we got two young kids, so Disney Plus just made sense. And plus we already had Hulu. Mm -hmm. And apparently they're gonna bundle it a certain way where Disney Plus is only like an extra dollar or something because of the price we're already paying for Hulu. Yeah, so you're not you don't have Hulu Live then. You just have no. Hulu. I just have regular Hulu, so with See, that, we have go ahead, uh, go ahead. No, I was gonna say with, with that, it's you know, that's like an extra dollar fifty or something like that for the Disney Plus. So I was like, okay, well, why not? And we got the ESPN with it. And, ESPN uh, Plus, I want that. And see, uh, that we just ended up giving to uh, to to her stepdad, and just being, yeah, you know, ESPN you know, Plus has the UFC fights and some boxing matches. Oh, cool. So, so. I, you know, I'm really interested. But the problem is we have Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus Live? Yeah. Because my wife needs her news. And I don't, I'm don't. i not upset about that. You know, she, that's the way I met her and whatnot. You know, and we don't do regular cable TV, so. Oh, I don't either. So, no, me either. So, um, good stuff. Preston's in the house saying, lady. Um, Verizon, lady. my brother says, Verizon gave him a year free of Disney Plus. Yep, we do. The packet is just regular Hulu, not not the Hulu Plus Live. So that would not work out for me too good. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Trial. Yeah, and she ended up. Well, she ended up like paying like an extra five dollars for the total whatever we did, and we got stars for three months. So I'm like, okay. Um, yeah, thing stars. I, was I ever really liked was black sales. Yeah, my brother says ESPN Plus is only five bucks a month. I see. Yeah, I got it just so I could watch Liberty football. The yeah. few games that they also, had. In there. They also do uh, MMA matches and boxing matches too. So that's interesting. You know, I, you know, I'm just, just getting ready for the new edition and, and I'm just trying because, you know, when you don't have any any little ones in the house, you can kind of splurge and whatever, do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Not care about how many subscriptions you got running. Yeah, but diapers aren't cheap. <laughs> exactly. But now it's mm -hmm. lifestyle. Lifestyle is changing. So I'm like, OK, what I got to snip here, snap there, you know? <laughs> Yeah, and that's all I'm doing. That's basically all I'm doing. And then I can I can readjust to see what it is that I want to really keep. You know, because if you think about it, uh, freaking all those streaming services are nickel and diamond the heck out of you to death. Yep. And before you realize it, you're spending way more money than you thought. And like Trusty said, some diapers, man, they ain't no joke. Especially for newborns, you gotta you gotta have the diaper genie though. Do you have the diaper genie? We do. <laughs> that thing's a lifesaver, man. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. One of the first things we are pretty much got. Um, I think we still need a stroller. I dropped Netflix too, Adrian. Uh, Marina says burgers, fries, digital boofer, perfect Monday night. Well, I'm glad Ooh. that we perfect Monday evening. Thank you so much. Tired. Michael still got to get stuff out this week. It says, good dog. He's still working hard. As a matter of fact, good dog presence in the house. I don't know if I said that earlier or not. 
but welcome to the stream, Manny, or welcome at least to the chat. Yeah, but um, yeah, so you know, I'm, uh, we got pretty much everything but a stroller, I think. Um, so what I did is we we just kind of started buying everything because I didn't want it to be, you know, zero hour. Right. <laughs> And everything, you know, and still trying to get stuff. Nah, we just kind of, we've been buying stuff this whole time. You know, we got the curtains and the dressers and the crib and the changing station and the diaper genie. And, uh, Never had a diaper genie. You didn't do that. You didn't do that? No. I did. <laughs> I did after, uh, after, after my when the second baby came around and I found out about those things, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we had to make some changes too this weekend. Uh, unfortunately, the dog is no longer with us. Oh no, the puppy? Well, after I was giving it a bath and it decided to crap all over the floor and as I'm trying to get it outside as it continues to crap, it bites my hand and draws blood. Oh, no. So that's the last straw. Sorry. No pity. So, I, I mean, if it had been my kid's hand, I would have personally strangled the dog myself. But, um, you know, I, I, I called some, some family members and I was like, look, you know, if there's anything else, I'd, I'd be like, you know, option to shoot the dog just because it, it bit somebody. So my uncle was like, well, I'm going to give it a shot. She, well, she's, you know, a really good dog from what I can see. Uh, but she's going to live outside. She's going to live inside. I'm like, I can't deal with it. I'm like, that's fine. I don't really want the dog to die. But it's not staying here because i got two kids and I can't trust it now. Yeah. cat. Yeah. Sorry. No, I, I cannot trust this dog. I was the last straw, too. You know, my kids had nothing to do with it. And and I was just going through the motions of feeding it, letting it out, and because of all the issues we've been having, you know, it, it, we just we, we couldn't trust the dog. So yeah. Hopefully everything's working out fine. Um, if not, they're going to try and find a new home somewhere else. So the dog will be passed around until it finds a, a home that can actually, I don't know, uh, play nice with others. So. Yeah, that's the adventures we had this weekend. <laughs> oh, no, that's crazy, dude, man. Dude, we just get attached to them things, too, man. So I hope they didn't get too attached. No, no, here's the kicker. The kids haven't even noticed. They haven't oh, noticed? Wow. They have not even. That's how little they, they messed with the dog. Wow. We've left the cage and everything out. All its toys are put up inside the cage and everything. We've purposely not set it just to see what the kids did and they have not reacted at all so i'm like okay yeah. that's fine you know then then that obviously the dog wasn't a fit for our family so you know, bye bye puppy <laughs> i would have right. kept fighting with it i would have kept messing with it until the issues were gone and you know hopefully the puppy phase was gone but i, I don't deal with the dog that draws blood yeah I don't know. You're kind of a tasty morsel, so. Well, you know, apparently so. <laughs> oh, dude, I was mad. Oh, dude, I was mad. I was like, my wife comes around the corner. She sees all the crap on the floor. And she's like, oh, man. I'm like, don't oh, man me. And I show her my hand. And she's like, oh, my gosh. I'm, she's like, do I need to take you to the hospital? Go get stitches? I'm like, no. Just put some of the and a Band-Aid on it. I don't think it's very deep, but it's, you know, it. it I'm bleeding, you know, so. Put some Windex on it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Put the Windex. Windex picks everything. Um, but I was just like, you know, if it had been my little girl's hand, you know, I've been calling animal control, been like, get this thing. Yeah, I hear, I feel you on that. You know, I don't, I, you know when it comes said and done, I don't, do, do I, do I want the dog to, to, to end? No, I really didn't. But I just, you know, with kids, you just can't do that. I feel you, brother, man. Shoot. So we're going to give it some time. Both kids kind of want a cat again. And since our cat ran off because of the dog, um, you know, we're going to give it a few months and, and make sure things are cleaned up and, and, and straightened better. And, and then eventually we're going to start going out looking for 
uh, a replacement cat. Cause man, if that cat if that cat shows back up, I'm gonna be so happy. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to contain myself. I love that freaking cat, and I've never liked the real animals very much. But I love that cat. He was so cool. I don't like cats. I normally didn't either. I mean, that's just you know they're just an animal. You're like, ah, look, there's the cat. Feed it. This cat, he'd be like, okay, you want to play? Cool. You don't want to? All right, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll go do my thing. And I was like, all right. And so you know, he came up and he just love on you for a second. And he just fell in love with the cat. And I was like, ah. Oh. And so whenever he ran away, man, I, we were all, all super upset about that. Yeah, and I wouldn't be upset. I, I wouldn't be upset. But we got five minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> and uh but shoot let me let me go through my brother said he gonna go watch batwoman good thought press don't do it uh, <laughs> people, uh good thought presses wrote you blood on skunko the other night she did not mean to they were playing what, uh, what else uh, and been being my kid's head i don't know if i've been calm to call animal control yeah you know, it is what it is. Okay, black, I feel the same way. You know, when you're when when an animal bites, you know, you really got to step back and think about it. Going, okay, if this had been anyone else besides me, you know, how bad would the injury be? Right. I've seen that dog have my entire daughter's hand in her mouth. So I'm just like, oh man, if this had been her, if she had made the dog mad enough to do that to me, and if it done to her, her whole hand would I, should we be in the hospital getting stitched like crazy on her hand? Yeah. That sucks, man. It is what it is on that yeah, count, though. Yeah, like, it, yeah, exactly. It is what it is. The dog's gone, and we're we're just we're just laughing our asses off just when the kids have not noticed. The dog is gone. The dog's gone. Like on the street. street all the time. <laughs> nothing. No tear. No. Hey, where's the dog? Nothing. <laughs> so. That is cray cray, man. That's all information. All right, delete, delete, delete. Well, we got four minutes left, so I'm gonna let everybody uh, outro themselves. We're gonna start with the magnificent, magnanimous, trusty psychic. Ah, oh, well, okay. Here's the usual spiel. You can find me at trusty sidekick three on Twitter, trusty sidekick art on Instagram, and hanging out with the digital bullpen. And very often, drawing something for Pope Fire. <laughs> very, very often. And Which Josh will get used to very soon. <laughs> right, he sure will. And wacko. All right, y'all. Well, good night. Thanks for popping in once again. Thanks for uh, even having us on the stream tonight. Appreciate it. Thank you for doing this. And uh, you can check me out on Twitter at... Uh, Cesar Feliciano on Instagram at the artist Cesar Feliciano and uh, also on Facebook at the artist Cesar Feliciano and don't forget the Red 10 campaign four more days to uh, get in on that many different levels all very affordable uh, if you want to see one of the uh, biggest projects that I've that I've worked on uh, good story uh, good art great production uh, definitely go uh, check that out uh, and, uh, you know, look forward to uh, some of my other projects. Uh, Chango is going to be coming soon. All the art is done on it, just waiting for it to get colored and lettered, and then we'll get that printed and uh, out to all the backers. And uh, as you can see it tonight, I was working on remastering uh, Gods and Soldiers, which will be coming in 2020. Thank you. Awesome. Mr. Joshua Christopher Art with the Pikachu. Uh, this is Mimiku. Oh, that's what that is. I thought it was just... last time. You would have known the Mimiku and the Pikachu. <laughs> but, man, I was I was doing doing family things, man. <laughs> I get you. Yeah, I'm Josh Chris Art. You can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, all of that, and of course, hanging out with Jimmy here and the guys from Digital Bullpen. Uh, as often as I can. And I do have a show coming up this weekend in Louisville, Kentucky, the Galaxy Con. Uh, it used to be called Super Con. Now it's Galaxy Con. Um, there's going to be a lot of great guests I've seen so far. And um, I'm going to be there all weekend. And I, will go, I don't really know if I'm going to have any new like stuff like this there, but I will have a whole bunch of originals. Uh, ranging from My Hero Academia to even Naruto, which I had never done before until this show. So 
if you are in the Louisville area, stop on by and say hi. <laughs> thank you, Josh, man, and thanks, everybody. My name is E.R.T.S. Of course, you can find me here under E.R.T.S. on YouTube, colorblind underscore E on Twitter. And if you all haven't checked out Macho Dan's uh, virtual high five, you need to check that out. It's his first virtual high five for his campaign hero, uh, Blood, of, Blood of Patriots. Um, so that, that book should be coming out soon. And, um, of course, uh, E.R.T.S. Arts on Instagram and Facebook. Also, and of course, I've dropped the link for Red Ten um, in the chat. I'll drop it one more time, and uh, hopefully, y'all, if y'all like, show a little bit of love to Mr. Feliciano, go down there, check him out. I got a lot of lag on my computer; it must be putting in an update. Um, if y'all can check him out, of course, man. Uh, do that and give him a little bit of love. And. Uh, Thanks for the guests and thanks for people that came out and supported. God bless and good night. Enough said. Bye bye.